Hello there, it's Simone. I am so glad you are here today to embark on a update on how my journaling is going. And for that reason, I decided to film several videos because you will not really understand how my current journaling situation looks like if you haven't seen a flip through of this um, journal and the consecutive, the, the, the journal that follows after um, to see where I ended up and what I'm working in right now. So this is going to be a multi-part series and we're going to start with a flip through of this Hobonichi Techo Day Free 2021. I have covered the outside with lots of stickers. I added um, a postcard in here. I used not a lot of the front pages, but I did use the monthlies for a quick summary of each day. And with the idea of using these information pieces, to then create a weekly overview in my Hobonichi weeks, um, which was redundant and I did not enjoy that. I do not like writing down the very same information or things twice. So it's already in here and I don't really need it somewhere else. And I actually really liked how these monthlies looked and now that i'm looking at those i really still love them so i could see myself doing that again so i would summarize every day i would decorate because i love decorating as you can see um and then in July or August, not 100% sure when I fell off working in this book. And you can see that in here too, because I also um, stopped filling in the daily overview. And I had already added some decoration to the rest of the months. So I just did not get to fill those in. I used this for everything. I used this to document my currently inked fountain pens. I used it to journal. I used it to decorate it with bits and pieces and ephemera. I wrote down the projects that I was working on. I used this to write down a weekly review from my planner. I stuck in Happy Mail bits and pieces, lots of Happy Mail bits and pieces, uh, more weekly reviews, some th throwbacks because this I found, so I journaled about it. Um, another weekly review, a notes about a YouTube video. notes about the inauguration, more happy mail, more thoughts on that happy mail, weekly re making diary, weekly review. Um, and there's a face mask disaster monthly monthly review. I would do short form journaling. I would lo do long form journaling with photos and it worked for a while as you can see the beginning was really awesome and it, it, it's still I am still impressed and I'm still excited about what is in here but that did not last all the way through um, I think what brought me or took me away from this notebook is that so many things were intertwined. And even though 
I was afraid of having various different journals for various different things. Um, ultimately, the fact that I didn't have them um, kept me from being able to finish this. And let me explain to you why that is. Here is another longer journaling space and um, I always felt the need that I needed to decorate all of this. Um, but the truth is that no, you do not have to decorate this. Um, I, however, I felt like um, I did want to be somewhat chronological in the way that I documented. And so if I had something on my mind, something on my heart that I wanted to write about, but I just couldn't find the time right now, then I wouldn't be able to work to add more creative things, to add more random bits, to add more of the stuff um, that makes this journal so pretty. Um, and that would then back up um, all the future entries that um, I wanted to put in here. And so um, you can see there's starting, I, I, instead of working in the moment when I was super excited about adding something into my journal or writing, making a currently inked list, um, I would hold myself back because I needed to do other things more or first. Um, so I always felt like I had to catch up. And that wasn't the coolest feeling to be quite honest. And that led ultimately to the fact that I did not enjoy working in this anymore. And another thing that I did not enjoy was the fact that these pages, even though I really love Tomoyo River paper, it's one of my most favorite papers to write on. I love how watercolor performs on this paper. Um, even though I I like, love the paper, I did not like how the, uh, when I had heavier things to stick on, how it would bulk up and how it would feel very heavy and ugh. So he, this is where I, I, I thought I wanted to write more, but I didn't, I didn't go back. And the fact that I had these pages here with no writing ultimately meant that I just completely stopped using them, the, the notebook. And so even though it was an awesome thing in August, I decided that it is time to let that go. And there is a video in my channel where I share how I actually cut this uh, notebook apart and decided that this is finished. And then I used, I originally wanted to use this Stalogy notebook as a writing journal. So I would do long form writing in a separate notebook. So I would separate the the, the lots of writing into a different notebook, this one, and then would do the creative journal in this one. And I cut, I didn't like writing in this, so I just used the leftover signature and made this writing journal from it. Um, and I guess that will be the second video in this series. I have a, an encouragement for you today um, to step outside the box if you feel like your journal or the way you're journaling is not working for you. This journey is all about exploration and finding what works for you. Not everything works for you all the time. Sometimes we need to 
change in order for our creative juices to start flowing again. Let me know how you're journaling at the moment. I'd love to hear in the comments. Um, part two of this series where I'll flip through the uh, journal that you saw last will be up next week. And if you're still here, you are the reason why I'm making these videos. I'm so glad you're here and I hope to see you next time. Bye!